And now, to present the award for education, please welcome Dr. Wanda Austin, President and Chief Executive Officer of the Aerospace Corporation. Dr. Eduardo Devo's formal training is in mechanical and computer engineering, but the biological and chemical sciences have always been his passion. So in 2013, when he accepted his current position as an associate professor in the Department of Mechanical Engineering at Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University, he created something unique. He combined these disparate disciplines to develop an extensive bioengineering research portfolio that includes cardiovascular hemodynamics, lung dynamics, biomechanics, muscle and tissue mechanics, and radiotherapy. With the full support of the university, he's been able to develop a new major track in bioengineering. In short, he's implemented bioengineering courses into the curriculum formalized a minor track in the catalog, and introduced biomechanical systems in the mechanical engineering program. Over 180 articles in international journals and conference proceedings, as well as a number of books and chapters, and over $3 million in funding can all be attributed to Dr. Devo's research. He has received numerous teaching and research awards at the college, university, and state level. Dr. Devo measures his success by the professional accomplishments of his students, many of whom now occupy important positions in industry, academia, and as entrepreneurs. Dr. Devo has also served as a faculty advisor for the SHIP student chapter at UCF for the last 12 years. He enjoys mentoring students from underrepresented communities as a way of giving back to this country for all that he has received. Dr. Devo has a master's degree and a PhD from the University of Central Florida, both in mechanical engineering. Honored guests, it's my privilege to present the Education Award to a young man who postponed having surgery on his knee so that he could be here tonight. Dr. Eduardo Devo. Thank you. Hello. All right. Don't you love the enthusiasm of students, right? That's why I'm in academia. Oh, before I begin, I want to thank somebody called Miguel for helping me with my tie. Uh, <laughs> without you, I wouldn't be here. Thank you. <laughs> so. Um, so now for the serious acceptance remarks. Uh, it is seriously with d the deepest gratitude that I have the honor and joy of accepting this award. I am truly humbled by your consideration and recognition of my dedication and passion for education. I feel extremely fortunate every day, every morning when I wake up, I get to do what I like the most, what I enjoy the most, and that is to interact with all my students and be able to serve as their teacher, their guide, and their mentor in their future lives as engineers. This is the special mission that I proudly serve in life. I dedicate this award to my parents, Milagro, Eduardo, down in Venezuela, for their devotion to my own education and for impressing upon me the need for perpetuating self-growth through self-competition. Always compete against yourself. Be the best you can be. I carry these with me and pass it on to my students, especially to my fellow Hispanics, Latinos, so that they can realize their potential by achieving membership into the greatest minority of all, the minority of excellence. Thank you very much.